Welcome to this week's Down the Shore. This week we'll be joining our friend, Chef Lynn, who's going to show us quick and easy ways to add culinary excitement to your table. So stay with us. Hi, we're here with Lynn. Lynn, welcome to the show. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Good. What are you going to show us today to make? Well, we're going to cook some things that are highly revered in restaurants. Um, uh, most people think they're very difficult uh, to do, but we're going to show you that in actuality they're very simple. And, um, and they better be if I'm going to do it. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> That's okay. Um, here we have crepes, your basic crepe, which um, we're going to do a dessert crepe today. And as you can see, we're looking for color. They're beautifully colored and they're very versatile. We're going to do a dessert crepe today, but actually um, in the versatility, we'll explain to you later that you can put almost anything into it. We'll show you how to roll them and we'll even show you how to decorate some of them. We also have some potato pancakes, uh, so commonly known as latkes in some cultural circles. We'll show you how to do those. Again, things that seem to be difficult, we're going to show you in actuality how very easy they are today. Can I ask a question? Are they like hash browns? Um, <laughs> are they not like too generic thing? Okay. Yes, they are. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're an extended version of hash browns. Okay. Actually, they are. I'm just curious. They look like them, so I thought um, okay. And they're very simple. Uh, and I'll show you. If you want to come over here, I'll okay. direct you more of it. In here, we have an onion. It's uh, about a quarter of a rather large onion, and we're going to put it in. We're going to put the grater in, and Margaret, you're going to shred this onion for us, and that's how we'll start. No, I've never shredded anything, so this way? Yes, here, let me let me show you. <laughs> give me a nut. Give me this a, is a uh, handle, okay, which yeah. makes it very simple. <laughs> and as we bend it, okay, I we gotcha. just go ahead and grate it. Okay. Until it's all grated. We can show you that a lot of it'll stick inside, but if you just tap, I think I can do that. Okay. All right. And you can continue. As you can see I'm not a kitchen person, so. Yeah. Do I have insurance in case my fingers come off with this? No knuckles. How about uh? Fingertips. No knuckles or fingertips. I'm gonna cry. And Wait, take a lot of this. Oh, what did I do to that? Okay. I'm gonna cry. I thought I was doing the potatoes. <laughs> you can do the potatoes also if you like, Mark. <laughs> I'll just sit here and watch. Oh. While we're you doing this, on purpose, didn't you? No. <laughs> yes, I did. While we're doing this, I might tell you that we have three potatoes, one rather large and two small ones. As you can see, they're peeled. We have two cloves of garlic, which we're going to use in this recipe. Eggs, four. We have flour and milk. And all of this is going to come together, and we're going to fry them up. Margaret's having a hard time here. <laughs> I'm almost there. Well, you can do it. You don't mind large pieces of onion left in there, do you? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be all shredded. Having fun, Margaret? No, can't you tell? <laughs> I don't know what to do with these last pieces. Uh-oh, you better call Lynn. <laughs> We're having trouble over here. No, I just having trouble. Now I don't know what to do with these last little big pieces. Oh, I'll that take I love. them for you. Actually, they do go quicker when you're used to it. Um, oh. when you're used to doing it, we I can't can, see. I'm crying. We can put them in, but let's just go a little faster here, and they'll all come down for you. Again, you want to watch. No knuckles. No fingertips. 
Yes, I have none left. Uh. <laughs> and take them down like this. And we'll take out these it's large pieces. And what you're left with is this product, Margaret, if you want like to show them. This is it. And it's true, onions do make you cry. Very much so, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> okay, here, I didn't mention to you folks, we have half a cup of flour. The milk is for the crepes, which we'll get into later. So, in actuality, we have everything right here for the potato latkes or potato pancakes. Now, we're going to grate the potatoes. And those go very quickly. As you can see. Okay, let's show you Basically, we're a quarter through. What's happening here? You have your potatoes and you have your onions. You have a very fine mix. And this is how you want it, coarse. And Bill, if you stay with the flow, just like this, you'll find it goes very quickly. Let's see you, like you do that, Bill. Let's go. Up out there. You can do any better than I did with the onion. It's just shred carrots. <laughs> potatoes are different than carrots. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you might be better at this than I am. Although I think it's easier to do a potato than it is to do an onion. Well, it won't make you cry. Mm -hmm. Watching Bill do it make, might make me cry. <laughs> This is the way we shred our potatoes, shred our potatoes, shred our potatoes. Sorry. Isn't this exciting? I could have said more shit. Well, that's what it looks like. They'll watch for the action on. No knuckles. <laughs> How's it doing? Very good, Bill. You just about got us going. Excellent prep person. Excellent. Now what we want to do is bottom. just <laughs> turn this upside down so you don't scrape those fingertips in there that are an unwanted product, folks. Okay? And we'll put this to the side. Thank you, Margaret. And again, this is what you're looking for with your onions and your potatoes. Okay. Okay? You want to take your garlic. Mm, the good stuff. Which are two cloves, finely chopped, as we can see here, which garlic, of course, picks up any dish, anything you eat. You don't want to go too much, but you don't want to go too thin. Excuse me. Okay. Now, we've got salt and pepper, and I like to leave that to you folks. Uh, salt and a little pepper. Is that like and to your liking? I would say to your liking or to your taste, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, if you want to just mix that up for me a little bit. <laughs> and then you can crack the eggs into it, Bill. Oh, can All I crack three? Into it? Not with my right. hands hit it. There too. All right. Um, this is my forte. For you folks who might be asking, why am I working with my hands? I'm one of the <laughs> chefs who likes to work with her hands. I like texture. I like to feel my product. And once I get my measurements down, um, more or less I can, I can tell what I'm looking for by getting my hands into it, which is why I'm making these folks <laughs> use their hands tonight. How many eggs? You can put them all in there. Two is good. Okay. The other two we're going to use for the crepes. There you go, Adelaide. There you go. <laughs> Rusty. Okay, at this juncture, if you'd like to um, get into the spoon and if you feel it's, it's necessary, there you go. I will add your flour, which is, again, a half a cup. So you don't have to use your hands, though, if you don't want to, right? You don't have to use your hands, no. That's I like it because of texture and because of doing it, it over the good. years. <laughs> and this is our recipe for potato latkes or potato pancakes. Uh, the, the next movement is to go to the stove. Thank you, Bill. You're excellent. And here is what you would call a batter. 
You notice it's not too thick, it's not too loose. You don't have a lot of flour because you don't want it to be grainy and pasty. And now we're going to go to the stove and show you how to cook them. Okay, so we're here at the stove, and uh, I did want to let you know that at the beginning we said that this would be simple, quick, and easy. We took approximately 12 minutes to grate, okay? And you want to use a spoon similarly this size, if everyone can see, and you just want to gently pick it up. You don't want a large quantity, roughly like that. You want to put it in your pan and make a pancake out of it, just like we have in the plate. We've got roughly a half a cup of oil, and you can see for yourself. how they have to lay. They brown very quickly. They don't need a lot of time. We want to keep things easy for you, as we said. You want to loosen it. When you see the color coming up around the edges like this, you're wonderful. You can just flip it right over. Don't be afraid of the pan. You're looking for nice color. You don't want to undercook them. You don't want to overcook them. And this process, as you can see, is maybe another two or three minutes for a wonderful side dish, which is going to take you, as I said, 12 to 15 minutes. Better than potatoes. Different than the rice, different than the pasta. And we'll show you how different people like to eat them. Uh, some like them with everything. We'll go to the table as soon as we have our finished product here. You do want to drain these as anything that you do fry. Um, you do want to drain them. And, and we're looking at very nice color on both sides. We've got maybe about another 15 to 20 seconds, as you can see. I like to do, depending upon the size of your pan, we could have fit another one in, but I like to be sure, so we kept it like this. I'm going to flip them just one more time. And we've got great color. This is what you want to complement something that looks really good on your table, delectable. And remember, you've got that wonderful garlic. You've got the onion to complement the potatoes. And yes, the earlier question was, it is like a hash brown with just uh, just a few simple more um, little spices. We're going to take them out now and drain them. And there are potato pancakes or potato latkes. Let's go to the table, gang. Big one. Okay, so about how long was that in the pan? Because I can't, you normally judge, I need a time. Right? From, from beginning with, with roughly almost just under a half a cup of oil to your frying, um, to be safe, we'll say three to five minutes. And I say that because um, some of you might be wondering, well, it, it was so short, how could it be cooked? Um, you have to remember that when you're grating this product, you have almost a translucent product in the potato, which normally takes a long time. However, you're grating them, so you have a very fine product. Same with the onion, so that they cook quickly. Okay. Okay. So you're looking at a cooking time between three to five minutes. So we're roughly at 15 minutes, 15 to 17 minutes for a nice side dish, which, which when, you, when you think about the grating and, and grating the onion and grating the potato, it seems hard, but in actuality, you have a wonderful side dish, which, which, which is very simple, and it's extremely tasty. Okay. Now, to serve them, um, if I may get my tweezers, uh, what? Tweezers. Tweezers. I what we'll do is. Uh, aren't they called something else? Clippers. <laughs> tweezers. Tongs. 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 That's them. Tongs. tongs. You can call them tongs. <laughs> okay. So we'll take two. Um, I I can't eat two. I I usually eat a lot more. <laughs> I I can never eat two. But but then again, uh, we can go with. Some people like, depending upon your culture just sour cream. Some people like applesauce. I like 
both. Okay. What about the cherries? <laughs> <laughs> I like both. I like the sour cream and the applesauce on both. But this is your potato locker. This is how it's served. And I think that after it's done, you can eat it any way you like, any way that satisfies you. So there's a great side dish. And again, very simple. Still good. Still good. Thank you. Can we eat one now? I know. Well, we I've taste been hungry. here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Apparently, Joe likes some plain. Camera guys, yeah, okay. just a little salt, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so now that we're done, would you folks like to uh, critique this for us and sour tell wine. us what you think and if you like it? I get the sour cream one. Okay. Oh, lucky you. Well, you can have some. There's sour an cream. example of, of what we said earlier. Some like the sour cream, some like the applesauce. And some like both. <laughs> You're supposed to use a knife. <laughs> enjoy, <laughs> enjoy. Uh, does it matter? I could still cut it. Mmm, very good. Can you can you mm. taste everything in there? Which is important: the onion, the garlic, the salt, and the pepper. Just the applesauce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. That's the only thing I could taste: the applesauce. Okay. Okay. It's very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish this. And very <laughs> simple. And um, these, this is something, again, and, and I hate to be repetitive, that people make a big thing over, but it's very simple. Very simple to do. We like to keep it that way for you. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's show. We hope you enjoyed the show and you learned how to make potato pancakes with us. Join us next week. Linda will be back, and she'll show us how to make crepes. So see you next week. Bye. Bye.